Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome. This is your last class of this module. So congratulations, everybody. How do you feel today? Hello, teacher. Are you guys okay? Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, today we are going to start with a feedback. It's short feedback because we want to um, conclude today the complete module. Uh, remember that we studied the simple past. We studied the polite language, how to uh, request politely. And also we learned how to give instructions, giving directions, okay? We learned how to start a small talk in this module. So now we are not afraid anymore to start a conversation with anyone, okay? You can use any topic related to your ambience. For example, uh, the weather, right? What's the weather like? Or what do you do for a living, right? So we learn to use the WH questions to make conversations, right? So um, I think this module has been very productive and I hope the next module uh, is going to be more productive, okay? Uh, you are going to continue uh, <clears throat> with this uh, vocabulary we learned and you are going to practice it, okay? You are going to put this all in practice. Okay, then let's start. Let's start our class today. Let's start our class. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Our video conference number 20, speaking practice about business travel. Okay, business travel. The purpose, business, right? So, traveling for business. Visiting places for business purposes. Okay, this is your video conference number 20, and today is... Mm-hmm. What date is today? Today is Friday, October the 13th of 1993. For some reason, I cannot hear you guys. Hi, teacher. Can Hi, you teacher. Hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. One, two, three, test the audio. Teacher, you listen. Saul, you listen me? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, okay. La teacher no está ignorando el último día. No nos quiere escuchar. <laughs> <laughs> no nos quiere escuchar, teacher. Otra vez la ley del hielo. Sí. Teacher. 
Por culpa de Ay. Alma. Teacher. Teacher, teacher. Hello, teacher. Y es porque hoy es viernes 13. It's Friday today. De mala suerte. Sí. No way. But we listen to share. Hi. Can you hear Hello? me now? Teacher. Hello, teacher. I cannot hear you guys. I know. <laughs> now I can. Now I can. I'm sorry. Something was happening. I don't know what happened with the Zoom app. All right. Did you if listen to what, what I said at the beginning? I have five minutes speaking. So, <laughs> you know, it's kind of frustrating not hearing you. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if I'm able to connect my microphone. Is it okay now? Can you hear me now? Yes, sure. It's okay. Well, actually, you, you can listen. hear me. The problem is that I cannot hear you, right? Yes, sure. Okay. Now, here we are. Okay, people. So today we are speaking, uh, we're having a speaking practice uh, about the business travel, right? So... Maybe you said the date and I didn't listen to you guys. What day is today? Today is? Friday. October. Today is Friday, October the 13th of 1993. Three. No, of 20, 23, 20, 23. not 19. <laughs> 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 We're going back in time. Oh my goodness, guys. Come on. All right. Well, the objective today is that you will be able to plan a corporate business trip for a team that is going to an offshore training, okay, abroad. Uh, you are going to be as uh, uh, foreigners in another country okay so you will be planning this corporate business trip and well today we have the satisfaction survey and they will be um supervising from tech support and from the coordination um they will be maybe auditing here so uh we want to start first with a satisfaction survey because I have to present the video, how to uh, fill the, oh, oof, to fill these in. Okay. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder decir. Desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar. Y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico. 
y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo. Realmente ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción.
Hmm. Okay, people, are you ready to start the satisfaction survey? <clears throat> are you ready now? Do I'm you ready to have share. the data over there and the WhatsApp they sent it? Okay, they sent the um, orden de inicio. Okay. Ahí está también el nombre del módulo y todo eso. Ok, vamos a comenzar entonces, todos poniendo atención, sin equivocarnos en nada, por favor, porque esto es sumamente importante. Okay. Acuérdense que sin esto no nos vuelven a llamar, ¿verdad? Si no hay convocatoria, si no presentamos esto de la manera correcta. Entonces, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca será proporcionado por proveedor. Puede copiar y pegar lo que es lo mejor, ¿verdad? Esta es nuestra orden de inicio, ¿sí? Ahí ya la tenemos, ¿verdad? Ok, luego su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Hay que copiar y pegar si ya lo tienen. Y si no, pues, eh, es su nombre. No van a equivocarse ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. El correo electrónico, tal y como ustedes lo han puesto en su contacto, ¿verdad? Ok, su número de celular sin guiones, ni nada. ¿Vamos bien ahí? Es t-shirt. Ok, todos estamos ahí, confírmenme por favor. Necesito saber que todos vamos bien. ¿Están todos ya en la encuesta? Todos. Ok, confirmenme todos, por favor. Hay varios que no me dicen sí o no. Ok, thank you. Vamos en la número cuatro todos. Yes. Ok. ¿Ya pusieron su número de celular? Este yo. El de ahí la puse yo. <ríe> ok. Luego pues marcamos el number five en la número cinco, ¿verdad? Usted marca el suyo. Ahí. Ok. Luego... El departamento de residencia, ustedes hay un drop down menu, así que ahí escogen ustedes el departamento en que están, donde viven, ¿verdad? Luego su municipio, acuérdense de respetar mayúsculas, minúsculas y espacios correctos, ¿ok? No punto ni nada. Uh, la empresa donde usted trabaja tiene que ser la razón social. Pongámosle coco a eso, por favor. La razón social, no el nombre comercial. Pollito campero, lo más no he dicho. Ajá, cabal. Ajá, sí, Isabel, pero... ahí le están hablando. Ajá. Con eso me podría ayudar porque eso de copiar y pegar nunca nos mandan el enlace de cómo aparece la razón social. Pero ¿Cómo mira. aparece mi nombre de la empresa? Así como no con gusto ahorita, solo. También en mi caso, Tichero. Ok. Eh, ¿quién, ¿Quién me dijo también? Ronaldo, Tichero, por favor, si oh, me ayuda con eso. Okay. Con la razón social. Ok.
Okay, ahí estamos. Ahí le mandé a Isabel la razón social y a Ronaldo la razón social. Sí, gracias. Más? Vaya, vaya. ¿Quién más? ¿Todos estamos bien ahí? ¿Continuamos? Ok. ¿Esa era qué número? La ocho. Ok, la número ocho. Uh -huh. Correcto. Vamos entonces a la número nueve. Ah, ok, Marta Alicia, permítame ahorita. Ahorita se la paso. Hi, teacher. Buenas noches. Hi, este, good evening. Me voy, uh -huh. me voy conectando. Uh, ahorita okay. están haciendo el examen. El, sí, la encuesta, la encuesta de, satisfacción. de satisfacción. Correcto, correcto. Marta Alicia, eh, ¿no me ha puesto su nombre completo ahorita? Marta Alicia. Quiero ver. Ah, es que aparece como bien. Pero no es Marta Díaz. ¿Verdad? Ok, ¿cómo le ponemos Marta Alicia? No la encuentro, Marta Alicia. Sí, quiero una consulta. En la sí, primera, sí. ¿qué es lo que debo de poner? En la primera es la orden de inicio. Ok, ahorita se la vamos a pasar de regreso. Hola, teacher. Good evening. Hola, good evening. Y yo llegando a mi casa voy, teacher, por eso me había puesto como oyente, pero ahorita voy a llenar la encuesta. Sí, por favor, ingrese al, al link que mandaron en el WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí nos mandaron a todos el link. Ahí entra y comienza con la orden de inicio, copiar y pegar. Pero sí vio el video, ¿verdad? Ya lo presentamos hace un ratito. Sí, teacher. Sí. Ok, sí, sí. perfecto, perfecto. Eh, ¿Con quién me quedé ahorita? Con Marta Alicia. Marta Alicia se me desconectó. Sí, porque no me aparece. Ok, bien. Continuamos entonces a la... Va, vamos a hacer un, re, un repaso, un recuento de todo lo que hemos hecho ahorita. Vamos. Ya vimos el video, ahorita estamos eh, contestando, vamos por la número 9. Tengan paciencia los demás, por favor, porque necesitamos terminar esto todos juntos, ¿ok? Entonces, ahorita vamos a explicar a los que recién se han conectado, ¿ok? Creo que está así. Ok, aquí estamos. Entonces, desde la número 1, ¿verdad? Ahí está, por ahí les mandé el mensaje, tanto está aquí en el chat de Zoom y está en el chat de WhatsApp. Esta es la orden de inicio que van a copiar y pegar, ¿ok? Copiar y pegar. Luego su nombre completo, ¿ok? Su nombre completo. Su correo electrónico que ha puesto en el que nos comunicamos, ¿verdad? El número de celular sin guiones, ¿verdad? Así tal y como se ha adherido al grupo de chat de WhatsApp, así. Así lo va a colocar. Luego, ahí usted marca si femenino o masculino, ¿verdad? Vamos bien hasta las 5. Luego aquí hay un drop down menu, dígame. ¿Alguien me habló? Ajá. Tenemos el drop down menu. Usted selecciona la ciudad donde usted vive, el, perdón, el departamento donde usted está. Y luego el municipio de residencia, usted lo tiene que digitar. Respete mayúsculas y minúsculas y eh, los espacios correctos, ¿verdad? No le ponga punto. La empresa donde trabaja debe ser la razón social del de nombre de su empresa. Luego, 
¿Vamos en la nueve todos? Necesito que me confirmen, por favor. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Entonces, elegimos ahí inglés corporativo Regal International. Luego, el nombre del curso está en los datos que nos enviaron, ¿sí? Acá, ve, inglés principiante módulo 3. Ok, nos vamos para allá, copiamos y pegamos, ¿sí? es el nombre del curso. Inglés principiante módulo 3. Luego en la 11, ustedes van a valorar los aspectos relativos al curso. Tengan en cuenta que el horario lo han decidido ustedes por la facilidad, ¿verdad? De poder asistir luego de su trabajo, ¿verdad? Es un tiempo que han dedicado libremente para esto, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos acá insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente, ¿verdad? Acá, acuérdense que la estructura del curso eh, viene dada directamente de INSAFORP. Es algo que eh, no se va a cambiar, sino que se adapta a su lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Luego, las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas usadas en el curso. Acuérdense de la plataforma, acuérdense si se les han enviado videos, si se le, da, se le han dado links reales de lectura, links reales de conversación, de speaking, de grammar, ¿verdad? Y pues también los canales de comunicación que tenemos, ¿verdad? El WhatsApp, la plataforma, el teléfono, ¿verdad? Todo lo que tenemos disponible, usted va a poner ahí. Eh, luego la fecha en que iniciamos el curso, ¿vamos bien hasta aquí? Vamos todos. Sí, chera. Sí. Fíjese que yo voy de camino para mi casa y no he podido. Me conecto y me desconecto. No sé si hay problema si la hago en unos minutos cuando ya esté en mi casa. Ya casi o tiene llega. que ser en ese momento. Sí. Mm, unos sí. 15 minutos, teacher. Ok, lo envía en ese momento. Uh -huh. Lo envía en ese momento, teacher. pero fíjese bien en todo para que no vaya a tener problema, ¿ok? A la hora de... Ok, llenar. teacher. Uh -huh. Luego tenemos la fecha en que comenzamos. Recordemos que empezamos en septiembre, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que darle para arriba en la flechita y la fecha fue el 13, ¿va? No, 18. Miren, 18 de septiembre del 2023. Vamos a seleccionarlo allá, ¿verdad? seleccionamos el 18 de septiembre. ¿Okay? ¿Y cuándo finalizamos? El día de hoy. Mira qué chévere. Sí. Y todo bien triste, llorando. Lo veo. Si sí tienen toda la razón que ha terminado. Vale, entonces tenemos aquí el 13 de octubre. ¿verdad? Siempre acuérdense que en el de arriba tienen que darle a la flechita para arriba para que llegue a septiembre. ¿Correcto? ¿Vamos bien aquí? Vale, antes de contestar la, de, okay, la del número 14, es importante que yo les haga la recomendación eh, ah, no. o decir la aclaración de que no se eh, habla del nivel de satisfacción propio suyo en el sentido de que, ay, hoy la regué porque ni casi ni le puse interés, me costó un montón, no dediqué mucho tiempo, entonces por eso yo no estoy satisfecho. No, no se trata de ese nivel de satisfacción, se trata del de nivel de satisfacción que sí le, cumpl le cumplimos con lo que le ofrecimos, ¿ok? Estamos hablando de satisfacción del cliente. Y ustedes son nuestro cliente. Entonces, se trata de que si le dimos, le impartimos lo que le dijimos que íbamos a impartir. ¿Eh? Si el manual se siguió, 
sí okay. estuvimos dentro de la plataforma, sí les dimos asesoría, lo administrativo, todo lo que nosotros ofrecemos, si se le dio a usted su nivel de satisfacción, ¿verdad? En todo caso, si usted marca insatisfecho, nos damos por enterado que no es lo que usted está buscando, ¿verdad? Entonces, entonces ya no le enviarían convocatoria porque no es lo que usted busca, lo que nosotros ofrecemos, ¿verdad? A eso se refiere este nivel de satisfacción, ¿ok? Bien. ¿Correcto? No, insatisfecho porque no me dio las empanadas <risa> al final. ¡Ah! Okay. <risa> y es cierto, siempre les ofrecía, vea, tiene razón. <risa> es cierto. Es la poleada <risa> tampoco, <risa> Sí, hace falta. Gracias, teacher. Queda claro. Ok, ok, there you go. Número 15, los cursos que son de su interés. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos diferentes cursos de todo tipo, ¿verdad? Y se va incrementando la lista de eh, cursos que estamos ofreciendo dentro de nuestra escuela de inglés corporativo. Se ha expandido tanto a marketing digital, a... Excel a todos los eh, eh, niveles, ¿verdad? Desde cero hasta el más avanzado. Está también, eh, si no me equivoco, es Office, si no me equivoco. Pero ustedes pueden consultar también los que ustedes quisieran obtener. Solo que aquí usted pone el que está usted interesada y le van a llamar cuando haya alguna convocatoria, ¿verdad? Le van a ofrecer algo así, ¿ok? Y si saben de otro curso, de otro lugar que ustedes quisieran recibir o que han oído que se imparte algún curso, pónganlo ahí, ¿verdad? Tal vez se, se, eh, eh, a, se expande la oferta con ese nuevo curso, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, los comentarios. Los comentarios son importantes para eh, construir, para mejorar. Siempre es importante escucharlos a ustedes, ¿verdad? El comentario más importante de parte de ustedes es, eh, eh, aparte de su satisfacción, lo que ustedes creen que haría una mejora, ¿verdad? Lo que haría una mejora dentro de la oferta que nosotros tenemos, dentro del procedimiento que hacemos, de cómo realizamos las cosas, ¿verdad? Y eso. Mira, también se agradecen comentarios positivos, ¿verdad? De satisfacción de ustedes. Cuando le den sus mates, por favor, denle un screenshot a la siguiente eh, pantalla que sale con el gracias, ¿verdad? Y me lo envían con su nombre completo al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahorita tengo que recibir 18 de ustedes. Nos queda pendiente el de Marta Liz. ¿verdad? Entonces serían 17 en este momento que debieran caer. Ah, también Aida me dice, ¿ok? Entonces, menos 2 serían, a ver, 16, ¿sí? 16 que ahorita debo de tener ya listos. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Estamos bien, jóvenes? Freddy, Ronaldo, Saúl, Gabriela, Carlos Edgardo, Carlos Ernesto. Ajá, Alma, María, perdón, Marta, Esther, 
Fernando Noel, ok. Gracias, Isabel. Ya van bien, teacher. Sí, vamos a hacer esto. Eida, Maris y Rosa. Gracias. Bien, Estefanía. Gracias. Teacher, perdón. En la número dos, su nombre de suyo sería, o el mío. Eh, nombre completo suyo, Fernando. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Listo, ¿verdad? Okay, then let's continue with uh, completing the um, the content in our manuals. Remember, we need to complete pages 46 and 47. No, no, 47 and 48, if I'm not wrong. So we need to complete these activities in order to um, drill the topic be going to and amenities. You see, I'm always having trouble with my AirPods. Hotel services. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, then let's continue. I've got a problem with my eye too. Ay, de tu micrófono. Aida. I was trying to to mute to mute Aida, but I couldn't. Okay. She's on the bus, maybe, right? Uh -huh. Okay, continue, guys. Here we go. Okay, then we are going to plan a corporate business trip. Remember, what can we take? What can we take? Well, usually our passport, right? If we're going out the borders or uh, abroad, okay? Our boarding pass, if we are going by plane or by train, we don't know. We need so, uh, some money to take our laptop, right? Maybe our phone, whatever you need to take. So let's go to the platform. And in the platform, we've got 
this exercise. This is as a manner to start. Okay, here we go. In a discussion label, we've got this. What things do you need to check off in order to travel and with a business purpose, okay? So, what things should you check to get ready when you travel for business? So, we need to make a packing list of the items you should take to on an, to take to an offshore training. Okay, so please, everybody making your list, all right? Let's move. Oh, did you finish? Great. Thank you. Good. Laptop, boarding pass, money, notebook and pencil. Yeah, that's true. Clothing. Oh, if you need your uniform. Yeah, something distinctive, right? Uh -huh. Your ID. Your ID from your company. Brochures. If you are visiting a client, right? Mm -hmm. Or you have uh, uh, to deal a negotiation, you have to take your presentation, right? Uh, okay. How, how do you say t shirt? Mm -hmm. Port portfolio, portfolio. That's portfolio. Mm -hmm. Portfolio. Yeah. Ah, okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Portfolio. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody sending your replies. Hey, I don't see any answer, guys. Any reply? Come on. The schedule too, right? Mm -hmm. The schedule. These, what things should you check to prepare when traveling for business? Uh, we saw this, this other way. Remember? Okay, like this, right? Remember, when the date, right? Day to check in, day to check out from the hotel or the place where you are going to stay, right? Um, Are you going to travel for business? or Well, actually, we are going to travel for business, right? Uh, where are you going to go? Depending. It depends on where our client is located or the conference is going to take place, right? Maybe 
going to be in Central America, South America, North America, Euro Europe, Asia, right? Australia. Maybe we are going to Russia, okay? So we don't know. You have to know about the place that you are visiting, right? Um, where are you going to go? In the city, are you visiting any other places, right? Any places of interest? Yeah, we, we can make the plan too, right? We can have a day off, right? We can take a day off to visit hmm, as, hmm, as making tourism, right? As a manner of tourism. How are you going to get there? You're going by plane, by, by train, are you driving? What places are you going to visit when you get there? Okay, this is what we were talking about. What are you going to take? What are you going to take? Your packing list, okay? Your packing list. Uh, what are you going to do there? Are you going to take a bath every day? I mean, because of the weather, I don't know. <laughs> if it is snowing, I don't know if you are going to do it, right? Maybe I am going to request a wake up call in the hotel. Remember that. I need to have free access to Wi Fi, right? So I'm going to request any hotel service uh, according what I need to do. According to what I need to do. How long are you going to stay there? How many days, right? How many days are you staying? When are you traveling? Are you traveling on weekends, uh, on the weekend or during business hours? We don't know, right? It depends on if that's uh, for the payment from the company, right? Maybe it's going to be listed in your, in your payroll, the hours you are flying. Uh, we don't know, right? So everything has to be checked. When are you going to come back? Are you coming back um, during a business day and you have to go to the office or are you going to stay home when you come back? So you have to plan all these things when you are traveling for business part. Okay, got it? Is there any questions so far? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Um, what is what are you going to take? What are you going to take? Your packing list. You have to do your packing list. The items you are taking. Okay, the the clothes you need to wear over there. Mm, I don't know if you are taking a lamp, or I don't know money, your passport, uh, your camera. Mm, money, right? All so those things, documents, important legal documents, uh, things to sign up, everything you have to take with you, those are the items you have to list, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Edgardo says laptop, laptop charger. Yeah, of course, the chargers. We forgot about the chargers and that's very important, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's very important. I oh, use yes. the computer in mm -hmm. almost my, uh -huh. my tasks in my work. I'm in German. It's essential. It's essential. Yes. The okay. laptop and the and the mobile phone. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The mobiles. All right. We say mobile in American, and we say mobile in British. Okay. Okay. Uh, then clothes. Yes, of course, clothes. You need to know how many uh, suits you are taking, right? Mm -hmm. Or Request for the laundry yeah. service, right? Laundry service. Okay, then 
money, mm -hmm. your personal ID, mm -hmm. exactly, your a batch, right, from the company, yeah. and also your um, legal documents, right? Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, yes, your driver license, mm -hmm. your driver license your credit card yeah that would be a very good option for not taking cash right maybe you can have a short amount of cash right a small amount of cash and take the credit card okay or a debit card it depends if it is an international one then you can use a debit card too okay alma says okay my clients on my client list okay mm -hmm. Your uniform, exactly, your cell phone. All right, only you guys, your answers, your replies. No more? Come on, guys, please, submit your replies. Sure. Mm -hmm. I have a question. For example, mm -hmm. in different flights, is uh, say the um, uh, how do you say a scala in English? Scale. Scale the for example no, the, the, the the plane. Scala. Ah, okay. No, those are tops. But oh. yes, my mm -hmm. question is, for example, I he say me in a airport, for example, transfer. You are transfer. El transbord. Mm -hmm. El transbord. El transbord que nosotros lo llevamos, ¿verdad? Transbordar uh -huh. a otro. Entonces mm -hmm. me dijeron transfer. Entonces yo mm -hmm. transfer, o sea, lo tomaba transferencia literalmente, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si esa es la palabra correcta. Yes, transfer Trans from one to from one plane to the other plane, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's a stopover, right? It's a stopover, and then you have to transfer from one plane to the other plane, and sometimes you have to take your suitcase with you. Sometimes they take care of your luggage. So yeah, it's transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. teacher. Mm -hmm. And there is another two transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, actually, the stopover is the, the most common. And uh, do, 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 do. let's go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, transfer is just when you change from one plane to the other flight. But um, if you stay in the plane and you just stop over, then it's a stopover, right? Even though the transfer is also a stopover, right? Uh, okay, teacher. In Spanish, it is a, a sign of sign of indifference for for the one signet. For example, no decimos el trans transferirte de un lugar a otro, sino el transbord, pero es un sinónimo. Transbord. But in English is... Pero no decimos trans, uh -huh, es, es tras. Uh -huh. Transbord. Uh -huh. Transbord, ajá. Uh -huh. okay. okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. All right. Uh -huh. English. 
English is so interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have more than one, right? More than one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not a synonym, it's a translation from transfer to transbordo. Mm -hmm. To make this stop over, hacer escala. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Saul. Um, so let's. Okay, teacher. Okay, so let's uh, write five sentences about scheduled activities, and we want to use the vocabulary they give us in the manual. So let's go over there and let's do this excerpt. That's in the subtitles, it says, but it doesn't give me the subtitles. Never it does. Never does. It never ever. Okay, here we go. Let's rank the top uh, three reasons to travel. When you travel for business, right? Do you attend conference and seminars or do you go on training? Do you visit clients? Do you attend in company meetings? Uh, do you visit agents or dealers? Uh, do you visit manufacturing plants? What do you, which of these do you think are the three top reasons for business travel? I think this one, I don't know. What do you think? Visit agents or dealers? No, right. What do you think? In your case? To go on training. training. To go on training? Okay. To go on training. Mm -hmm. To visit mm -hmm. the clients. So that will be the second one. In this case, teacher. Okay, for example, I, I present a different portfolio of products, a different client, for example, in another country. <laughs> okay, so let's say to visit clients. In Carlos Edgardo, did you say a reason that you travel? I say to visit manufacturing clients. Oh, okay. So that will be your first one or your third one. Also to attend conference and seminars. Okay, so let's say that will be the first one. Which is the first one for you? Attending conference and seminars, you said, right? So number one, number two for Carlos Delgado. Uh huh. And which will be the number three? Mm -hmm. Visit agents or dealers? On go on training. Okay, then yeah. this will be your three. Ones. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. So you rank your own ideas, okay? Okay, then let's continue. We have to write the five sentences about scheduled activities. This is the activity that I was talking about. And we need to use the vocabulary from the box. We have make a reservation, request a hotel service, attend, for example, a business event or non-business. It doesn't matter if it is not a business event, okay? You can think about 
family event, right? Or something like that as a manner of using attend in your sentence. Then check out and the last one is stay, okay? So let's use make a reservation. Can you give me some examples, guys? Okay, I'll give you mine. The assistant is going to make a reservation of the Prince's Hotel in Bogota. Okay. The assistant is going to make a reservation at the Prince's Hotel in Bogota. Okay, now your example. Aida, one example using make a reservation, please. Sería de las... Tengo que tomar de ejemplo lo que está... Yeah, that's my de... idea. So now you give yours. Okay. Mm. The, the assistant... Oh, no... I don't teach it. Ahorita estoy estamos haciendo perdido. con make a reservation. Okay, make a reservation. Make a reservation. Y vamos a utilizar be going to. Be going to. We are making plans. Okay. Estamos armando un viaje de negocios. Ya, ya, en la plataforma hicimos nuestro packing list. Ya sabemos lo que vamos a llevar. Ahora tenemos que hacer, ok, nuestros planes, ¿sí? The assistant is going to make a reservation at the Princess Hotel in, um, in Bogotá, right? So, una oración. Que se parezca a esta de algo que está usted planeando. Make a reservation. Tiene que usar esto. Y esto. Mire, he's going to make a reservation. Ok, mientras la piensa, vamos Rosa. One example. The secretary is going to make a check out at the Princess Hotel in Bogota. It's going to? It's going to make a check out. Check out. At the Princess Hotel in Bogota. Okay, solo que esto... Tal vez el checkout que usted está pensando es la revisión, no el uh -huh. marcarnos, marcarnos que ya nos vamos. Este checkout es que ya nos estamos eh, despidiendo, o sea, vamos y firmamos, pedimos la cuenta. Eso es el checkout. Mm. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Checkout también significa revisar y tiene mucho sentido uh -huh. como usted lo está diciendo. O sea, llega la secretaria uh -huh. y hace la revisión de todo, ¿verdad? Que, que todo haya quedado bien a la hora que ya nos vayamos a ir, pero no se refiere a este en este caso, porque estamos haciendo el plan, ¿verdad? ¿Mm? Teacher, y por ejemplo, la eh, that my sentence is, we are, we are is going to make a reservation at California again, Hotel. Again. <laughs> again, again, again. Okay. We are no. We are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are. Um, bueno, we are make. We are make a reservation. No, no, no. Be going where is, to. Be uh -huh. going we are to. going to. Okay. Uh -huh. We are going to make a reservation at the California Hotel for the annual product conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. That's a very good example. Um, okay, teacher. Friends. Yes, of course. 
Nice. I like it. Great, great, great. Okay. What about using request? A hotel service. Any hotel service. Now we know vocabulary, how to request something, right? Uh-huh. Any idea? I'll give you mine, right? For example, teacher, are you following the line that my sentence, uh, for example, we, we are going to request the food service mm -hmm. for the conference <laughs> okay, in nice. a hotel. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. In the California, right? <laughs> Hotel California. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ya lo vamos a poner a cantar, Saul. You will sing. You will sing. <laughs> no, teacher. But with a guitar. With a guitar. Okay. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. A ver, Alma, an example using request a hotel service. Haciendo la story teacher. <laughs> ¿Sí? Ya se la digo. Ok. Tamaris, one example, please. Use, be going to, y use request a hotel service. Estoy haciendo la teacher. Ok, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Isabel. Can you give me an example? Thank you, Marta Lisa, sure. for sending the satisfaction survey. Okay, thank you, Aida, too. Tell me. For example, uh, for Athens, I am going to attend my boss, makeup, and I get dressed. Again, I'm... I am going to attend uh -huh. my boss uh -huh. with makeup and ear. Makeup and? Uh, air. Hair. 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 Okay. Okay. Hair. Uh -huh. All right. That's a very good uh, um, sentence. Uh but we say to assist, oh. okay? Because this attempt is to go, okay? Este attend que hemos visto es como asistir a un lugar, asistir a un evento, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, eh, es un poquito la diferencia. Nosotros en español sí decimos atender, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, attend, attend que para nosotros es atender, sería atender a un evento. A una invitación. Ok, okay. so, esta sí está buena la, 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 el uso del be going to está correcto, solo que el verbo lo cambiamos para assist, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, in ver, this, uh -huh. tell me. Uh, they use attend, for example, in the, in the following line, my example, he is a uh, we, we are going to attend to all clients to the event or no? 
Eh, no, no, no. Ahí sería all oh, clients. Yes, we, we ah, all, all the clients. clients are going to attend the event. Right? Okay. To okay, attend sure. the Thanks event. Hmm? Tell me. Eh, eh, bueno, says, my boss is going to make a reservation at the um, hotel in Mexico. Mm -hmm. To make a reservation. Uy. A hotel reservation. Mm -hmm. Reservation in Mexico. Mexico. Okay, yes, that's good. That's a very good sentence, Aida. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, tell me, Alma. I'm going to request a marine room with full service. The request, huh? A meeting room with full service. Don't you hear me? Tell you. No, here it is. Look. Isn't isn't correct? I'm going to request a medium room with full service. Yes. Uh, okay, there you go. Uh huh. A medium will be mediano, right? Is that what you want to say? Mediano, medium. Was it medium? Medium, medium room. Meeting. Ah, okay. So I was thinking about non medium because we have double single twin you know family room but medium i don't remember <laughs> okay meeting okay with full service great mm -hmm. there you go mm -hmm. so what about attend we have two with attend right so let's continue with this other one Well, I didn't do it with um, business purpose, but I did mine with uh, about a wedding, right? My parents are going to attend my brother's wedding in Houston, Texas. This is just, ex ex uh, let's say, expanding our vocabulary, not only for business, right? My brother's wedding. Where? In Houston. Where is Houston? Texas. Right, so my parents are go parents plural are going to attend my brother's wedding. Okay, continue with the checkout. Checkout. Teacher, you say the checkout is, for example, the go out. Yes. Go, go yeah, the time that you are leaving. Ah, okay, yeah. leaving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We are, for example, we are. Yeah, when you are leaving out, the hotel. Coming to check out the California hotel. The morning, uh, eight p.m. to. Mm hmm. I think they should. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we, we are we mm -hmm. are going to check out to to two p.m. tomorrow. At two at two p.m. tomorrow. Okay, there you go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can say tomorrow before. Check out tomorrow at 2 p.m. and it will, it will be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. Is there any other example over there? 
Who has another example? Using be going to, you can use be going to and negative to. Teacher, but, but the music says you can leave the hotel. <laughs> California. You can't. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Someone was going to give me another example. Teacher, what you say? Um... My brother is going to request a ticket from digamos, para, para el avión o el vuelo, como puede decir. Mm -hmm. He's going to request a boarding, a ticket? boarding ticket from... Uh, no, in this case, plane no. ticket. Okay, plane ticket. Plane ticket. Mm -hmm. Uh, plane tickets. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. a plane ticket. Maybe he's going to ask that the front desk. Uh, um, the issue, the thing about the flight. Okay. So well, I give I'll give you mine. I'll give you mine now. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Is expanding just a little bit, the grandparents or their grandparents are going to check out on Sunday evening. Okay. They are going to check out on Sunday evening because they go only for the weekend, right? So their grand grandparents are going to check out on Sunday evening. Maybe we are checking out at night, right? So we don't know. Okay, and then the last one, stay. Stay with this word, stay. Teacher, say, for example, we are going to stay in the city. Mm -hmm. We are to stay in the city after the event. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use negative too. You can use questions too. Hmm? The famous are one. Are we going to, please, are we going to stay in the city? Mm -hmm. How long are you going to stay, remember? This is a phrase we were studying in this How long are you last unit. How long are you going to stay, right? How, How long, long are you going to stay? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll give you mine. Yeah.
Maybe because I said that it was the last day of class, everybody's coming, you know, <laughs> and interrupting. I'm so sorry, and I apologize, guys. Now, everything is canceled. All right. Yes, you can. All right. Here we go. So the members of the board are going to stay in the hotel next to Metro Centro. Which is that hotel? Do you remember which is? Which hotel is that one? Real Intercontinental. Yeah, Continental. that one. Okay, the members of the board. Okay, los ejecutivos, ¿verdad? De la directiva de la compañía. So the members of the board are going to stay in a hotel next to Metro Centro. We are is going the, to stay in the city. The Continental teacher. Yes. We stay mm -hmm. John Wick. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you All don't right. see the movie, teacher. No. Ah, but this, you don't understand me. Okay. No, no, the John no. Wick, yeah, with uh, this guy, Jackie <laughs> the Chan. The Continental. No, teacher. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. What? Which movie? Which movie? John Wick is the... Uh, I don't remember the name of the actor, teacher. Sorry. But this. It's Kenner good Rick. movie. Uh, Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> El famoso. Okay, Freddy has seen it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, people. So this is what we were going to do tonight. And we have just one, well, two more activities. Remember, two more activities. So allow me just to uh, clear all the uh, drawings. Hey, chair. Tell me. I, I have a problem room. with some home homeworks. Tell me which ones. Um, um let me see. I think it is the 17, right? Number <laughs> four. If I'm not wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. yeah, everybody had the problem with that one. <laughs> yeah. Help. Uh -huh. <laughs> everybody can help him. Who can who can help him? Is that one, Freddy? No, no. No, um, it, it, isn't it? Okay, which which one is it? Which I, one I, is it? I, the seventeen. That was a trap. And I think <laughs> nineteen. Okay, which uh, which no. question? And eighteen. <laughs> eighteen. I love to get there. Uh, 17. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on. No way. All right. Let's <laughs> look at it. Ah, es que, es que esa, no, no. En esa clase no he estado muy, muy, muy al 100% porque he andado fuera de, de, de la ciudad. Entonces, mm -hmm. por eso se me ha dificultado un poco. <laughs> Teacher, but the introduction, the 18 activity, for example, the, se, how do you say coma in English? I don't remember. Coma. Comma, uh, like so, that, comma. comma. The comma, for uh, example, the help call. It is don't comma and be confused what is help call or mm -hmm. the useful help or call. I'm sorry, which which um which homework? Clean help Eighteen. call clause give. Oh, okay, the imperatives. Uh -huh. Okay, Let's the imperatives. Sure. Uh -huh. What about the comma you said? I'm sorry. The comma is not in in between to help and call. Between to help and call. This between, you see, between and Oh, yes. you got it. Oh, now <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's confusing because it doesn't have a yes, comma. That's sure. true. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll send. Okay, let's bring the screen. I don't remember which number is this one. This one is the 18, if I'm not wrong. And in, in, in homework 18, mm -hmm. uh, the instructions use the following verbs in order to make imper imperative sentences. Mm -hmm. um, but I, 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 I write. I wrote. Uh, I wrote, but it's incorrectly. <laughs> Okay, go ahead to the WhatsApp chat. There you have the um, the image. All right. Got it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
for you to think. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. uh, don't copy paste. <laughs> no, you can't because it's an image. I think it's uh, an old sentence. It's only the word. It's only one word. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's no. only one. Oh, yes, of course. It's only the verb. <laughs> It's you wrote uh, the complete. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't understand what was your problem. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, it's only one word, just the verb you are uh using to complete the the blank. Okay, to fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is the problem. <laughs> I hate. <laughs> I hate the platform. What did you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't understand. Beep, beep, did beep, I hear beep, correctly? Beep, beep, beep. No, no. Hey, come on. <laughs> no, platform is good. Platform is good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we there yet? Everybody with the homework? Allow me just to um, check the... Uh, 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 uh. So what about the 19? What about the 19, Freddy? Did you have a problem up there too? Yeah, yeah. I. What was the problem? Wait, wait, wait one moment, please. Mm -hmm. It's finishing. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right, is Ronaldo in? Ronaldo, are you in? Okay, 19. Oh, so let's mm -hmm. get out. Oh, no, no, it's it, 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 yeah. And esto no lo había trabajado todavía. Ah, okay. Well, 20, 20, si sí, esa ya la tengo. And remember that get and go, sometimes it could be interchangeable. Remember, sometimes it can be interchangeable. And this is one of the examples on in the homework okay you can use can you can use go all right this teacher you will the platform activities you will the platform activities you will you, you will 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 build no build no it's already done <laughs> i don't touch it yeah. Uh, okay, teacher. Okay, okay. But I don't touch it. Uh, it's <laughs> theirs. I don't know what's the what's the company that they. Uh, I mean, what what is that main? Oh, uh, uh, teacher. Do the maintenance maintenance of these. Right? Okay, I, teacher. I don't know okay, teacher. Who develop these. But things. is it not? Uh, I I the of curiously. <laughs> uh, okay, it's just a curiosity. Okay. Tell me, Freddy. Um, in nineteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's um in number three. Um, Alex, Sophie, how do you in the um in the space for the answer? It's only go or get. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Number okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Beep, beep, beep. Just just the word. <laughs> okay, yeah, because the other modules, the one and two, you have to write the complete sentences. This is what you are used to do that. But in this case, and it's not a clear over there the way you have to do it. All right. Yeah, you're right. But here is what I am for. Okay. So you can ask me. Uh huh. Are we okay so far? Teacher, you can you can see um um. Uh, pues, usted puede ver cuáles son las que nos hacen falta. Yes, of course. I'll do it. Um, I don't remember. 
Okay, uh, and number four, yeah. And unit four, section four, you have done just only a two of them. You need to complete. Okay, no, you did already four. You need one else. Uh, just one missing, Freddy, from you. Just one missing. And in the final test, yeah, you haven't completed it. You didn't the finish the, it. The fourth part, part four. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And um, before, what was the thing that you said uh, just, I think it's the 19 that you haven't, uh, click on submit. 19. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just here. 19. Oh, hmm? it's, it's complete. It's complete. No, then it is, then it is the 17, the one that you didn't do. Oh, 17. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The um. This is uh, um. Only, the words. It's not all sentence. Okay, you will have a problem here. Everybody <laughs> had this problem because uh, you have to uh, write the phrase is going to and then the verb. For example, it's going to play. Uh, let me just get there because I'm not seeing it. In mean, igual todas las oraciones tenía. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no, no. And this one you have just to to complete the phrase. I show. Did you do it already? No. In WhatsApp, I share how. Como lo había hecho. <laughs> oh, all right. But we did these activities the, on. The fate has happened to me. <laughs> classes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're right. Okay, here I'm getting to you, Dave. Okay. Ya la había hecho, pero estaba mala. Okay, there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Yay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right, people, let's do the last activity in our manual. Okay. Yeah, we've got this, and this is very easy, very easy. Okay, you have to classify the words below in the corresponding circle. Okay, you have from one to 12, which ones are accommodations and which one which ones are amenities? Do you want to come to the board, Saul, please, and write them? Everybody help me, please. Okay, teacher. Tell me one second. Is okay. Okay, the text. Uh -huh. Accommodations. Please okay, number one, guys. Uh -huh. Or I think I think it will be better the word. <laughs> That's the lazy soul. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> you go. Okay. No, not the numbers. Hey, come on. <laughs> okay. Right. The, the one words. Is, is women pool. Uh huh. Esa se lee como S U sweet. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming pool is amenities. Mm -mm. No, no, 
these amenities. No, because you don't stay in Basic a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't sleep. Uh, you don't sleep overnight in a swimming pool. Okay, teacher. That's amenity. Mm -hmm. Swimming pool. Hey, in my windows is is little teacher, but I don't know. No problem. I, I have some. Uh, I'm okay. scared there. I not try. Uh, <laughs> hey, you took it away. Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Accommodation, hostel. And this one is hostel. This is not like hotel, right? This is. Hostel, hostel. Yeah. I don't know the show. I'll take it. I'll take <laughs> it. I'll take it from here. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Continue. But no, Great swimming teacher. pool is not accommodations. You cannot oh. sleep overnight over there. It's amenity. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. I first say this amenity. You just know is. I confuse. No, Sorry. I did. Hey, come on. You said a couple I confused this. Sorry. <laughs> okay, teacher. You cannot sleep you can... overnight in a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. Yeah. Hair dryer uh, is a mini Mini bar. Mini bar, teacher. Mini bar is a mini Okay. Thanks, Alma. Number eight. How many? Cable TV. Cable TV. How many? Uh -huh. Rosa, can you help slave. me, please? <laughs> but cable, look at cable. C A B L E. Sorry, oh, T-shirt. Uh. Save. Is cable cable TV room service is accommodation. Room service is not accommodation. It's amenity. Hmm. Because <gasps> you're requesting for they to take you the food or the things you need. Mm -hmm, to your room. <gasps> Yep. Is is spice accommodation? No, it's amenity. <laughs> amenity, yeah, it's amenity. Mm -hmm. Because you don't sleep Hard overnight dryer? in a spa. Amenity, higher yeah. dryer. Mm -hmm. Todas son amenities. <laughs> safe, safe is Les faltan, pero no sé. Safe, a safe accommodation, right? <laughs> safe. Uh -huh. A secure one. <laughs> safe is amenity too. Okay, there you go, guys. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, do you remember any other accommodation that we can access, that we can go to stay? Right, accommodations. Right, accommodations. Not from the list, from your mind, from the vocabulary we learn. Convention hotel. Okay, a hotel. Convention hotel, yes. Yes, convention hotel, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. In the convention room, convention auditorium, that will be the amenity. Okay, so convention hotel means that everybody goes to the hotel and they have their convention, right? So that's the accommodation part. Okay, um, tents, what else? Mm. Hotel, <laughs> hotel, mm -hmm. house, apartments, Airbnb, <laughs> yeah, so... In the Airbnb, no, no, no. But bread and bed, uh, I'm sorry, bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Only the B and B. No, single room will be a hotel service. Okay. Uh huh. The room, it's accommodation, just a room. Okay. Yeah. But that's good, Saul. That's good because sometimes we could say, well, the accommodation is the room. But the service is that I just need one bed in my room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. One bed for two, right? One bed for one. So, yeah. All right, people. So let's go to the manual and let's complete the activities we are missing. And they are not too much. I think we have only two activities that we didn't do, but um, we did them in a different way. Okay, so let's go to our manuals. In our manuals on page 48, I think it is. Mm -hmm. We have some questions with we with uh I'm sorry, with B going to. We need to identify and correct three mistakes in the question. So we'll uh spot the mistakes. Okay. We will spot the mistakes and at the same time we will correct them. There we go. Here are the questions, and you have to spot the mistakes. Identify and correct three mistakes in the questions below. Check answers. Now we are mm, working as a group, so we don't need to check, right? We are checking at the same time that we are identifying. So, number one. She's going to stay in single room. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? Grammar. Check she grammar. Is, okay, is subject goes with is because it's the third person. She is going to, okay, it has the two. Stay is in the infinitive form and the base form, okay. Uh, in a single room, yes. And the order, okay, mm, it's not correct, okay? The order is not correct because this is a question, all right? This is a question. What is the correct order? Is she, is she, is she going? Yay, guys. Is no. she, she, she going to stay, to stay in a single, a single room? Right? Then number two. How long are you going to stay at the coin? Is mm -hmm. how long are you going to Is it correct? Stay? Yes. Or incorrect. Right. Okay. Number Placing three. The correct. When are they going to arrive? When, when they are going to arrive. Nope. When they are when are, are they you going to work? No. Going to um, when are they going to arrive? When are you going to arrive? To, to arrive. arrive. When okay. are you going to So the arrive? mistake is that two is missing here, right? Two is missing. Remember the, the phrases be going to. And here we don't have the to part. Okay. Sure. Number four. Are you going Are to rent a car? Uh -huh. I think it's correct, sure. Okay. Thank you, Saul. Thank you, Carlos. To rent a car? What about number five? What are you going to 
What are you going to request of Osta? Okay, the order of words, right? The order. Are Remember, you? a question takes the B verb right yeah. after the WH question, question word or phrase. All right? So here we go. We want to expand just a little bit the vocabulary we learn about the city and the means of transportation, things around the city like streets, avenues, roundabouts, signs, traffic lights, and so on. There are the traffic signs, okay? The traffic signs. It's important for us to know how to say these in English. So let's uh, move just a little uh, below and we will see, okay? We will scroll down just a little bit and we'll see the vocabulary expansion. Okay, here we are. Here are drawings and here we go. So vocabulary expansion. Uh, one second, I will share in a different way. So basic, here we are. And the vocabulary is uh, about sign road, okay? Sign road. Match the signs to their corresponding meanings. Check answers. All together, okay? No overtaking, right? No overtaking. Uh, maximum speed. Maximum speed is no U-turns. Don't turn right. Don't turn left. This exit goes to. Don't continue. School zone. All right. So let's look at the signs from the road, okay? And let's write. Which one do you think it is? Don't turn left. The number one. Okay. Rosa, please come to the board and write them. Please, Rosa. Are you coming to the board, Rosa? Or do we ask Freddy? Don't turn left is number four. Mm. For me, that's don't turn right. <laughs> yeah. Ah, because number one. We are driving, so look. Don't turn. Don't turn, don't turn, right. Right. Don't turn left, don't turn right. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Yeah, women have this problem, Tanwari. Yeah. <laughs> For example, when we went to kindergarten, <laughs> yeah, I had this problem. Yeah. I'm dyslexic. You uh -huh. have it was. <laughs> I, I get confused with the right, left and right. All right. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay yeah, Freddie, right. please then, come and come to the board. The another uh, left. <laughs> the other left. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where is your heart? heart? Where is your heart? Where is your heart? <laughs> Where is your heart? And they say, oh, I'm having a heart attack. And they touch this other side. And they say, but your heart is in the other side, in the left side. No, it's the no, other no. part. <laughs> having a it's in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Hey, who wrote it? ¿Quién lo tenía escrito? Oh, come on. Yes, please. Es number five. Okay, Freddy, Alma, Stephanie, come to the board and write one. No, yo no regaño jamás en la vida. A ver, levante la mano a quien lo he regañado antes. No, por favor, no, no, no. No, Maximum yo no regaño. Y mi niña, seven. mi baby, levantando oh, la oh. mano aquí. <ríe> oh, my God. Uh, <ríe> mi niña de Ay, seis no. añitos. Ajá, de seis añitos. Dice... <ríe> oh, Maximum. Number seven. Okay. 
Don't continue uh, number eight. Number eight. Eight. Okay, yeah, that's top. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ay, que escribí. <laughs> no. Yes. You turns is number six. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, number take is no, number seven. No, we're taking I so just a... number eight. Number. The stop sign. Not on right. Number four. Not on right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you know any other? Do you know any other? ¿Sí conocen alguna otra? Es stop. Stop. Más stop. Más stop. No stop. stop. Carlos, he say boss. Boss. Bus stop. Oh, bus yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Bus stop. Mm -hmm. bus stop. Mm -hmm. Good one. Yeah. Bus stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. No authorized bus stop. And everybody is waiting for the bus right there, right? And no the parking. Happens. No parking. Yeah. No parking. Mm -hmm. They are going to use these. Uh, what is this? Dangerous band t shirt. No, no, no. Grua. Who remembers the, oh. the name of Grua? Road work. Mm, I'm sorry? Road work. Road? Work. I'm sorry, I don't get what you're trying to say. Es de trabajos en el camino. <laughs> oh, road. You say road, okay? Road work. Mm -hmm. And wild animals, I mean. Oh, Google yes, it. you're right. Uh huh. Google you're it. right. They have that. It, and not only wild, they say uh, wildlife. Okay, wildlife. That's you have to be careful with it. You have to, to watch it out, right? Children, in this correct is dangerous bend. Bend. Mm, bend. Dangerous, dangerous bend. Curvas peligrosas. Dangerous bend. Okay. And oh, how and we say? And after all, no. we don't say curves because curves is from people, right? Oh. <laughs> but no, no. Is <laughs> traffic <laughs> circle? I'm sorry. Traffic circle is como cuando anuncia una rotonda. Traffic circles. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have this sign like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, with with the round and all the exits and entrances. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And we you call that in the Spanish like trebol, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Any other? No? Crosswalk, you know, the zebra, the zebra pass, other? Yeah, the crosswalk. Mm, what other? And so on, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's only four minutes to 10. I will give you the time for saying goodbye to your classmates, okay? So who wants to... Uh, um, Agarrar la guitarra. <ríe> ok, para despedirse. Vamos a ver, todos despidámonos por ahí. Hey, tenemos que subir el examen todos, por favor. Nadie se me debe quedar sin calificación. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien quiera tomar la iniciativa para decirle adiós a sus compañeros? Todavía tenemos abierta la sesión uno a uno para el día de hoy, el que se quiera quedar. Ok, teacher, mucho. Mucho gusto en estar ya en el módulo 3 con usted. Me gusta cómo da las clases, nos tiene paciencia, nos explica de una forma.
forma bastante específica y gracias a los compañeros que nos tratan de ayudar. Gracias a todos. Thank you, Isabel, for your words. Mm -hmm. Sobre todo, gracias por su paciencia. <laughs> ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ya ve, Freddy, que yo no regaño. <laughs> Ajá, yo regaño riéndome. Ajá. Y es que él como... Con una risa algo fingida a veces. Ajá, como que... Yes, of course. Yes, of course. No, pero díganme, no, no. Ustedes nunca me han visto enojada, ¿sí o no? No nos regaña, solo no poner penitencia. Le preguntaremos a su pequeñita, teacher. Ella no puede decir la verdad. Sí, ella levantó la mano. Le dije yo, va, mírame aquí, ¿quién? ¿A quién he regañado? Y te, te, ya. No, teacher, thanks, teacher, for you, for all your support and for your correction and hope to continue in your class, teacher. Okay, great. But it's not, uh, well, I... Yeah, it's, I think it's not, I mean, it's not up to me, okay, to get the class. So this is a raffle we've got, okay? It's a raffle, so they sort us, right? They sort us. And maybe, uh, maybe I will see you, maybe I won't, okay? So maybe you are trying with another teacher. But my advice, take my advice if you want. Keep it up, okay? Keep it up with the patience, with the practice, with um, the pushing up here. You, you must push up your teacher, okay? You must push up. Um, it makes your class better when you go a mile farther and you try to make your teacher give the mile farther, okay? So please keep it up. Never, ever give up. Never give up. Never quit either, okay? Practice, practice. If you don't understand anything or one thing, go and do the research, okay? Go and do the research. You have Google. You have a lot of applications that you can um, do the research about the meaning, pronunciation, context, okay? So it's not just, it's not just the reading and writing is the speaking, okay, is the speaking. So listen and imitate, listen and imitate. Everybody, please, that's my advice, right? So keep it up, push it up. Okay, teacher, right. thanks, teacher. Okay, people, it's 10 o'clock already. So if anyone wants to stay with me the 10 more minutes, the 10 minutes to be famous on YouTube. <laughs> no? Yes, Ay, y todo es así. Imagínense, imagínense, día viernes, <risa> último día de clases, imagínense, 10 de la noche en punto, nunca habíamos salido a las 10 de la noche, así como todos, <risa> ya, <risa> todos disfrutando, no, a ver, enciendan todos la cámara, vamos a tomar la foto de grupo, ok, everybody, turn your camera on and smile. La foto de graduación. Esta es la que nos van a dar así impresa. No, mentira, mentira. Ok. Vamos a ver. Queremos verlos a todos y todos así. Te... Está peinando. Todo el chato se va. Ah, venga, peinar. Ok, everybody, please. Fernando Enrique, Fernando Noel, we want to see you in the picture. <laughs> ok, más este Freddy, ¿verdad? peinándose los colochos. Ok. <laughs> ok, you ready? Thank you, Marta. Thank you. Ok, there we go. There we go. Are you ready, Fernando Noel? Thank you, Ronaldo, that you showed up. All right. Mm -hmm. So one, two, and smile. Smile, everybody. <laughs> no, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh, oh, oh. Again, again, again. Smile. Got it. Okay. Here we are. El relajo. Ah, quieren hacer una de relajo. Vamos a ver, pues. Uy, uy, qué relajo. <laughs> Okay, there you are, guys. Yeah.
Ahí está el recuerdo. Y esa la vamos a firmar todo, ¿vea? Ok, guys. Have a very good weekend. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Uh, for your very dynamic class. Ok, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh -huh. Thank you for everything. Y la paciencia como por la paciencia. The patience, the patience. Patience. <laughs> ok, great. Uh -huh. My pleasure. This is what I am here for. Ok, to, uh, let's say this word. You want me to find a word up. Cantemos. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. All right, let's look at uh -huh. no the word is not standing taken. You're very put up with you okay haha uh -huh. this is what i what i am here for to put up with with you <laughs> no no that's not true look look uh, look it up okay look it up i will write this for over here yeah put up uh -huh. yeah look it up and you will see what your teacher does every night no that's just joking okay that's just joking and maybe you are going to use this word to your colleagues at work, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Mostly if you are a manager or if you are a supervisor, you can tell that to them. Maybe just joking, yeah. <laughs> All right, people, so have a very good weekend and see you if that, that's will next module or maybe you are going to see each other. All right, so my pleasure sure. to be with you. Give tell me, me. five minutes, please. Bye. All right. I, I... Okay, sure. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Bye. bye, teacher. Never bye. give up. Never give up, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, there okay. you go. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Can you help me, please? You check yes, of the, course. The, the website, but I, the, uh, the test. I I'm I I get up the test. Quiero tomar un examen de inglés, pero quiero si me puede validar la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Sí. Si, si el, el examen es uh tell me if sorry teacher, sorry, I sent in your chat the to was in chat teacher. Uh -huh. Sorry, when I menu I lo perdí donde está el chat. <laughs> eh, ok, teacher. Es the website. Ok. Oh. But. Ok, Academy of English. American and British uh, Academy. Well, yes, teacher. But is, is this. Sorry. Is this. What is the exam? Uh, for example, TOEFL. The TOEFL is still in Cambridge. Oh, the TOEFL or the IELTS? Yes, teacher. How you? Are you taking uh, it? Yes, teacher. But I, I the. But conocer, verdad? ¿En qué nivel estoy ahorita? To know to the, to the. What level you are at? You are well, in. I am level, just yes, sure. Or mm -hmm. you, or you um, recommend in this page, different page, but I mm -hmm. take the, the, the test. The exam? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Or, or well, for example, actually, no specific. El uh, sorry, teacher. Here in El Salvador or abroad? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. For example, I, I, I think take the test. But uh, I um, he know uh -huh. uh, he know he I I know that what uh -huh. is my level in this moment, but I 
is I can applicate uh -huh. this position in the, the world, but uh, the naval English is beginning, so avanced. El advanced. No, eh, okay, we have the beginners, we have the, the beginner, intermediate, beginner and but he's he say oh, he 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 really is beginner advanced or i no, i no, think no, no. Como el avance B1, más alto de... no no a uh, a1 a2 okay sure. a1 yes. a2 b1 b2 is a2 what is a2, a2. oh okay mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yes it's the uh, upper level in the beginners Mm -hmm. Okay, but you have to understand that you have four skills to um, to test, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the writing, reading. the reading, okay. the speaking, and the listening. Listen. So true. it depends on uh, which one you are more developed. For example, uh, mm. uh, for writing and reading, maybe you are ready to... Um, but we have different fields like working, studying, and I don't remember the other. Working, studying, or to apply to a scholarship, right? Uh, so these kind of levels. So you have like from elementary, then you have the high school, and then you have the, the college and university, right? But you have to be uh, aware what does it really say? Uh, do you mind telling me if it says A2 and does it say to work, to study, or the percentages of listening and reading and writing? Mm -hmm. If you have the, uh, so if it is an A2, maybe you have 70 something, right? 70 something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if you need these for the job or for out uh, for working abroad, then you need at least um, if it is um, a thousand, then will be seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay, seven hundred. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Seven hundred to work abroad abroad. Uh to okay. apply to a scholarship, maybe you will need more. Maybe you will need okay. at least from 750, the, mm -hmm. the, the minimum, right? Mm -hmm. To study oh, okay, abroad. Teacher. Yeah. Okay, so you need teacher. for uh, to take, I mean, to get at least the B2, okay? The B2 to, um, let's say, para defenderse, ¿verdad? En sí. el estudio. <laughs> en el estudio. Para trabajar desde 700. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Actually, in El Salvador, for eh, para las carreras de las universidades, se les está exigiendo certificación de dos idiomas, y en inglés se les está pidiendo creo que 500 mínimo. Mira, 500 yes, mínimo. Uh -huh. uh, for no example, sé, in my... no sé si para las carreras que son eh, eh, no recuerdo, pero yo creo que hay una universidad que pide 450. 450 para para aprobar la carrera. Uh -huh. Teacher, for example, yes, teacher, for example, for my postgraduate, postgraduate, uh -huh. a degree I have to pass to the, an exam to English is I I have a second second turn. Uh, how do you say? Tomar, how, let me, let, uh -huh. take. Let me, take. The second take. Uh -huh. the, the second take but by one the first i for example the uh, uh, but confused for example is the 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 text for the different topic for the example writing. is the aha uh, entonces hablaba de las migrañas y de cosas así bien o sea un idioma bien bien Técnico. bien complicado verdad técnico ajá, sobre la migraña que lo generaba y un montón de cosas y era un párrafo como de de uh -huh. dos hojas y de ahí tenía que contestar las 20 preguntas entonces ese fue el cuántas, que más me costó ¿y cuántas, eh, cuántos puntos sacó? Es, al final saqué 70 por, 75 tú venía que el mínimo ¿verdad? para pasar 
en el primero saqué como 50, luego que lo hice de nuevo, ahí pues sudando el lado, logré pasar con 75 justo, justito. Mm, okay, sí, uh -huh. but, but is in, for, for example, I, I mean, Wait, uh -huh. it's difficult for the understanding the different uh, topic, but I, we understand, I really need for is that. En lo general, ¿verdad? Pero cuando, por ejemplo, teacher, en lo que me, a veces me dificulta es cuando me preguntan eh, preguntas acerca de, según la lectura, hablaba de esto, pero hace referencia a esto otro. Entonces, ahí, comprehension, ahí, teacher, Ajá. ahí, pst, fallé. <ríe> Esas fueron las de mi Comprehension, verbal memory, yeah, you need all of that. Uh, existe una certificación que se llama así. Ahí se lo pongo en el... En el... Gracias. Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. But we, copy. Um, in El Salvador, maybe there are a few schools that certify with that. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. And that's, I think, the easiest. Okay, that's the easiest to, uh, to get a job, for example. Okay, to get a job. Uh -huh. That certification is important to get a job. So, yes, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. so then you, you have that certification. Mm -hmm. Sí, teacher. Bueno, eh, me ha costado y he perdido oportunidades justamente por eso, ¿verdad? por inglés. And the, the, the interview, for example, let me say that one, two, three, and four questions I answer and I understand and with this Miguel Rick. Uh, my question my but uh, uh, but the next I, I don't use for example uh, if you remember the module number one or number two I he say that is for me is difficult for the memorize the difference uh, uh, the verb for example past tense present present continue it I the confused it is for example in the Ay, um, the mix them. Mm -hmm. you mix <laughs> sí. them mm -hmm. entonces cuando a veces hacen preguntas como eh, por ejemplo recuerdo i remember that the one is for example eh, cómo diría mi jefe que es mi comportamiento justamente it is that porque me la dijeron en español después entonces mm -hmm. what i i miss say in english i don't understand it <laughs> but uh, but it's, mm -hmm. it's the more difficult teacher. But for example, I the, tengo una pizarrita donde pongo los verbos en los tres estados y trato de aprendérmelos y aprendérmelos, pero ahí en la mm -hmm. práctica, ¿verdad? que a veces es muy poca y entiendo que ahí tengo que mm -hmm. more, more practice, more practice okay. teacher. Okay, get over there to the chat. Ah, okay, teacher, thanks teacher. Mm -hmm. You can go to the, uh, ah, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Albert Einstein. So you will you will define your exact level, right? And also you will get the certification, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, teacher. Same teacher. It is in mm -hmm. yeah. There yeah. is Albert another Einstein that is called this... Antigua Cocatlan, yes. Mm -hmm. Or no? Yes, there is yes. another that it's called T O E I C Toic, right? Toic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have the TOEFL. TOEFL. Uh -huh. And we have the IELTS. IELTS, uh, S. S is European. IELTS is European. In the European, it's kind of upper. Yeah, mm, kind okay, of upper sure. levels. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the, the, the this number, the, this tree is the, <laughs> the little difficult? It's the more difficult. It's, I think yeah. that's the most difficult, the IELTS, because it has mm. a lot of a composing and writing part. The, okay. It's very extensive, and uh, it's, uh, let's say, uh, it's more demanding, right? It's more mm, demanding, okay. and the level is upper. It's not uh, as the tough, well, the tough is not that the much tough. either. But the toic, I think it's easier. The toic, oh, okay. I felt it easier. Cases, I felt it so easier too. And you can get um some samples in uh, and the web, right? You can oh, get some samples to practice. 
Just uh -huh. to share, I, I the the sharing is the difference. Allow me just to see this one. And this place that you told me about, uh, I mean, you did the exam with them. Sorry, teacher. You did uh, the exam with them. No, teacher. O sea, the I, bueno, but it's the uh, identify my level, but uh, the application. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the job is the my level is well, but I I I have to the certificate in this intermediate level English for the Eat Cafe Party in this 20, 25, 25, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, no, it's 20, 25. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 the 2005, 2005. 2005, mm -hmm. I, I get the certificate, but I, for uh -huh. example, I remember I, the 10 years, 10, 12 years, <laughs> pero desde ese entonces nunca lo volví a practicar, entonces sí, en su momento me dieron el certificado de inglés intermedio, nos hicieron the interview, the test, uh, writing, the written test. the written test, the listening test, and check the, the different question in the speaking, for example. And I, I can, I get the certificate. I got. See, I got, mm -hmm. ah, I mm -hmm. got certificate. Yeah. But I don't remember with, uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's bad. Uh -huh. It's sad for me, it's sad for me. <laughs> Is that for me? Okay. <laughs> but no, see, it's but okay, teacher. Thanks do, for you. Uh -huh. What you mm -hmm. have to do is just to practice subject verb complement, order of the words, the order, the logical order, grammar okay. order, and that's it. You, you will get a, um, you will, um, but okay, you will pass, uh, no, I'm sorry, you will pass maybe the grammar part by practicing the verbs and all these word order and the verb patterns, but you need to learn some idiomatic phrases. Ah, okay. okay. The idiomatic, idiomatic phrases. Phrase. You can take that um, from the whole web. You can get places where you can get these vocabulary and get familiar with it. Because usually when you are listening to someone who uh, speaks native English, uh, mm -hmm. Then they use a lot, as we, uh, for example, as we say, Saúl tiene buen diente, right? Mm -hmm. So, eh, una persona así normal va a decir, ok, tiene un diente bien grande, adelante, nada más. ¿va? O sea, no, <laughs> quiere decir que come mucho. O sea, esas sí. cuestiones de conceptos. Those are things about concept. And, um, eh, yeah, idiomatic concept. Idiomatic right? concept. Yeah, it Me makes chico. you, it makes you comprehend better. Okay. Idiomatic, idiomatic expressions. Like we say in Spanish, dichos, right? Dichos. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. I will make you understand better. Thanks, teacher. I I can in this in this year or the next year, but uh how do you say nivelar or level up level up the intermediate intermediate english but i i can i can the i have the the certificate but i don't remember i this is different situation yeah but, but I, you have forgotten maybe just the word order as i said word order yeah word order. A word order. verb mm. pattern Right, verb the patterns. Verb mm -hmm. When you have to use infinitive, when you have to use gerunds, when you have to use the simple past instead of the past participle, mm -hmm. or instead of the past continuous, for example. So you need to make this difference. The verb patterns, for example, we would like, like, would like this, would like to, and then the verb in the base form like would like to stay for example right mm -hmm. would like to stay mm -hmm. if you say would like to stay in that's incorrect so that's not mm -hmm. following the verb pattern for example after the verb like 
after the verb love, after the verb hate. Hate. We use a verb with ing. Okay. So mm -hmm. I like I eating. Like I love doing. I hate thinking. All right. So mm -hmm. ing. Those are verb patterns. So mm, take a look on that, and then I think it's going to even out. Even out is like oh. even, even out. Even out. Even out. Even out. Okay, mouth. teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, level up sorry. is to put the level a little forward. Okay. Upper, okay. Right? Uh -huh. level up. okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay, then I, no problem. I, I, I do recommend it. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Good. teacher. But mm -hmm. I, I re, um, re, re, received. Received? I received a calling for. Uh, in sub four with I then continue this next level, this next mode. But uh -huh. I I I I I can I can to continue Why? But I... how come Saul no <laughs> please don't uh, wait I mean I try to share but it's a different uh, situation but the world the difference uh, learning in this moment I can and for example, I develop an application. This this other word, not my word official of um, trabajo formal, formal, mm -hmm. formal okay. work, formal work, my formal work. And second is the programming, the different application. But it's okay. Oof. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. How do you say? Me, nosotros decimos me va a explotar la cabeza. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's make a boom, right? Boom. It's make a boom. Booming, uh huh. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Mm -hmm. But I had right, teacher, to continue, okay? <laughs> okay, uh huh. <laughs> okay. This is why we need the, the idioms, you know? And, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah my brain's about to explode well that's <laughs> of course of course right uh -huh. my head is just killing me well, when you have a, a headache right uh explode pounding yeah pounding too yeah just that my brain is going to explode <laughs> <laughs> i can take I... it or i can help it right i can take it mm -hmm. okay teacher. i can't take it mm -hmm. i can't take it like this i can't take it i can take it mm -hmm. okay teacher but uh okay esperemos que, que tener la, la fortaleza de okay poder okay. seguir <laughs> pero espero right. espero Espero. <laughs> All right. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher, for, All right. for your whole. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. This is <laughs> ah, my yeah. brain's going to explode. Yeah, to explode. Uh -huh. Is this yeah. the uh -huh. Make you 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 see the the movie the Shrek, Shrek, Shrek uh -huh. the, is the uh -huh. beard is on the scene the Fiona is la 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 you <laughs> it's me there <laughs> it's my brother okay so that's you <laughs> <laughs> yes teacher okay okay teacher <laughs> okay then if I can okay, get teacher. another one I will tell you all right <laughs> okay then uh huh mm -hmm. Okay, okay then. Thanks, Have teacher. a very good weekend and see you if God's will. All right. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Goodbye. Bye bye.